in the early hours of, of this morning, uh, we received a call that I, I think everyone in our service and the people of Toronto always fear, and that an officer had been very sadly injured in an altercation with, with the suspect uh, in North York. Uh, the officer received a, a very serious stab wound to the neck, and, and he fortunately uh, received outstanding care from the emergency medical services personnel who arrived and, and with the assistance of an off-duty firefighter uh, who came to his aid. Uh, the officer was rushed to Sunnybrook Medical Ho Center and, and at the trauma center uh, he received excellent care. Uh, he went into surgery last night. We've received a lot of calls from the public concerned for the officer's well-being and, and I just wanted to reassure people that the, the officer, although re who, he received a very, very dangerous uh, wound, will recover from his injuries. Uh, he was in surgery last night and it'll be a slow period of recovery. It was a potentially life-threatening uh, injury that he received. Uh, but we're very confident that he, he's, he, he'll recover from his injuries. Um, his family is, is with him, and of course he has a tremendous outpouring of support, not only from his colleagues in policing, but from the people of Toronto. And, and I just want to say thank you to uh, the citizen who, who responded, the, the emergency medical services personnel, the outstanding trauma team up at, at Sunnybrook, and, and all of the members of the public who have expressed uh, their support and concern uh, for our officer. You know, he's a public servant. He's out there protecting the people of Toronto uh, late at night. He was on his own. He was enforcing our laws. Um, and he found himself in, in an incredibly dangerous and, 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 and potentially life-threatening situation. Uh, we're very grateful that, that he will recover, but it reminds us all of, of the risks that, that Toronto police officers uh, face every day as they go out to serve the public and, and to keep our city safe.